because I haven't done this in so long. So don't blow your wad. All right, guys, Jenna Geary here. I'm here at Fit Club, my family, my home gym. Um, and today I'm gonna teach you guys something I haven't taught in a really long time. I actually did add it into a video that I did with Victoria. I don't know which one's gonna come out first, but I am gonna teach you guys about what saved my back. I did very unconventional style of rehab uh, at a powerlifting gym. Um, I swear by the reverse hyperextension that was invented by Louis Simmons, RIP. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to use it. I'm gonna teach you how I used it and I'm gonna actually start using it again. Not because my back hurts, just because it's a really good piece of equipment. We all need stronger lower backs. Maybe I'll be able to go even heavier on my RDLs because I'm gonna start doing that again. And then I'm gonna teach you a way to do RDLs on the, you know what, let me just stop talking and let's just get to work. Glutes and hamstrings today, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff and let's get to work. All right, I'm done warming up. Um, still got my band on, I'm about to take it off. I got my BCAs and my intracarbs from Blackstone Labs uh, that I'm gonna start drinking this. Um, and I'm gonna warm up with 135. I'm gonna stick to today sets of 20 to 15. I went really heavy on Friday. Not very heavy, but heavier than usual. Um, so today I'm gonna do more volume. Um, and then we are gonna end with the reverse hyperextensions. But technically, when I was taught to do these, I would do them in the beginning and end of my workout, but I want you guys to keep watching, so you're gonna have to wait until the end. <laughs> I got my uh, I got my peaches in Georgia. I mean, Fit Club. Actually, I got my peaches long before I came to Fit Club. But I'm getting them bigger here at Fit Club. Okay, that felt good. Okay, a little, no, another side note. When you are doing high volume, I personally like to count in sets of five because it mentally helps me get through it better. So I got five, I got another five. I only have another five. Okay, one more five. So, little side note. Okay, I don't know what I wanna do. So if you notice, I kind of move a little faster. I will be very honest with you, I actually really cannot stand when people tell me to slow down um, because I know what I'm doing. Like, I don't mind if you want to give me tips if I ask, by the way, um, but because I have such really good mind-muscle connection, that is the reason why. Granted, I want to push as heavy weight as I possibly can, and I am fully squeezing. I am getting a full contraction. There, I'm getting a full contraction all the way at the top. So even though I'm going faster than usual, I'm not trying to be a, a douche when I say this, but I mean, this is the way I've been training, and obviously it works. I mean, I did not have this butt, I made this. Um, 
you know, my butt was very flat, and when people ask me all the time, uh, what is the secret to my glutes, which, oh, maybe that'll be the next article I write out. Um, um, it is, I swear by this exercise, um, and raise the roof, which we're gonna do today also. Um, that's it, I mean, I don't, I don't say that it's from squats, I don't say that it's from deadlifts, I, I say it's from bridges. And this is how I've always moved through them, and this is how I've always trained them. And if you remember, I talked about this in the video that I did with Danielle a while ago. Um, how I train with this particular exercise is, I do heavy, for as heavy as I can, for 12 to 15, which, and then every four to five weeks, I'll do two weeks in a row, of powerlifting style where I go as heavy as I can for like five and three and then I go back to and that's how I built up my strength where the heaviest I've ever done is 585 for five and the heaviest heaviest I've ever done is 625 in here not counting on the Smith machine when I did it with uh, Victoria but 625 like this for one rep I think it was one and a half um, so that is how I got stronger, that is how they grow. And then I go back, like I said, to volume. Today I am, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't think I've ever done uh, 365, is that how much this is, 315, 365? I don't think I've ever done 20 reps. We'll see, maybe today's the day. Okay. I got it. I have it. All right, so with this exercise, I've taught it a hundred times. I call it raise the roof because it reminds me of back in the day when I used to go to club and raise the roof, okay? I'm so old. Um, so, you want to picture these, this is my foot ankle, I know my foot will be facing that way. Okay, so that's my foot, my ankle, my knee, and that shoulder right there, see that bump? That's my ass, okay? So, you wanna make sure that you're at 90 degrees at the ankle, knee, and then you're literally just pressing up till you're straight, till the, hamstr the quad is parallel to the ground. You don't have to go up any higher than that because then it becomes a lower back exercise. And you don't go very far, just like with the bridge, it's just a small movement tucking under. So it's the same concept here. Um, you can go heavy, but you really don't have to. Sometimes I try to go heavy on this. Sometimes I just stick to sets of 15. So I'm gonna do two tens on each side, make sure that I'm in the right position. Uh, T will show the angles, and then I'm just gonna squeeze my glute like I'm squeezing a marble, a million dollar marble, between my butt cheeks. Okay, then mounting and unmounting. So it depends on which way the hooks are, but basically you're thinking that you're doing a hamstring curl to take the hook off or other way around and that you're at the end. So if, it, if, you, can, if you have a hard time getting it back on, just let it go down. Like they have brakes on the, ha on the Smith machines. Just let it go down, not a big deal. Uh, if you need help, if you need help unracking it, ask a friend um, or do it on a day that you have somebody that'll support you. So I'm gonna go up a little bit and I'm also gonna move the thing a little, I felt a little tight. Um, so I'm gonna move it out a little further away.
Okay. Oh. So, um, I feel my lower back a little bit, which is probably a really good thing. See, I think I believe in a higher power, and I believe he's telling me that I should get back to doing my reverse hyperextensions. So, that's why I'm very excited I'm gonna end the workout with this. So, I'm not gonna go very much heavier. I'm still able to really focus on good mind-muscle connection with my glutes, but I just have to really, really abdominal brace um, to take it away from my back. So, I'm gonna stick with the same weight. I'm gonna do one more set. We're gonna go to seated hamstring curls, which is no back, which we wanted to do in the last video with Jenny and tortured it and have a seated hamstring curl. So I'm gonna show you that in the back and then we'll end with reverse hyperextensions and then we'll be all done. So thank you for watching up until now. Keep watching. I decided I'm gonna go, this is gonna work a little bit of your uh, glutes as well. Like on an RDL, you will. Uh, there's a way that you could do it where you don't tuck it under. I'm not going to. I'm gonna st strictly keep it all in my hamstrings. Um, then we're gonna go to raise the roof. So it'll basically be like glute, hamstring, and then glute, and then we'll go to seated hamstring curls. And then we're gonna end with that. T has to remind me, because I, I don't wanna forget. So when you're doing it with this, you might need to play, because everybody's limb lengths is different. Uh, legs are different, hips are different. So you wanna move yourself in the position where you are feeling it in the hamstrings and you shouldn't feel it at all in the upper body. Um, keep your abs tight, so immediately breathe through your diaphragm. Um, I just did a video on this, uh, the secret to my abs. So uh, breathe through your diaphragm and then keep it all in your hamstrings. Uh, I know you're doing basically like a hyperextension, but don't pull, the back shouldn't come like this. And if you're adding the glutes, you'll be like this, which will take the back out also. So just, I'm gonna start with one plate on each side and then go up and see how heavy I can go. For this one, 10 to 12 reps. Okay, so I know I can do more, but don't laugh at me. I don't wanna blow my wad. So I'm gonna go heavy and my top set, I'm gonna try to go for 10 to 12. So we're gonna see what that is. I did one extra, okay. All right, so this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So this uh, piece of equipment was invented by uh, Louis Simmons. It's a reverse hyperextension. Um, so he is a powerlifting, or was, again, rest in peace, uh, powerlifting coach. Um, but he himself had like, slip discs, fused spines, herniations, all that other stuff. And he designed this piece of equipment and how he teaches it is you're building strength through range of motion, okay? Um, so what you're doing is the weight on this machine is kind of pulling you down with control and then you are squeezing and lifting up. You're using your erectors, you're using your glutes, a little bit of your hamstrings, but you don't wanna go too high. So if my knuckles or my glutes, 
This is as high as you go when you do the movement and you don't swing too far under that your spine is curled. So you go just to this point and you have to stop and control it and then come up. So I was doing this five days a week, twice. Once in the beginning of the workout and once in the end. I got myself to a point where I was doing 12 reps with four plates on each side. It's probably been over a year since I used this besides for teaching on a video, which I did probably twice in the past couple months. Um, but today, it's the end of the workout. I'm gonna see how many I can do. Um, and that's it. You guys are gonna watch my form uh, and really, really, Please don't be afraid. A lot of the times when people have, a, and I have a herniated disc, when people have disc herniations, they are so afraid to move that they end up doing more damage. You're in pain because, you're not exercising because you're in pain, but you're actually in pain because you're not exercising. Think about that, I'll say it again. You don't exercise because you're in pain, but you're actually, I said it wrong the second time. You're not exercising because you're in pain, but you're actually in pain because you're not exercising. Okay, so let's get to the movement. So you do want to make sure that these handles are far enough away so that your arms are completely straight when you're in the position, okay? Hips are gonna be right at the end. So I just gotta move these out. And again, this all has to do with limb length. So I know I got long ass arms, so I know I need it all the way far away, okay? Then you got your step. Here you put one ankle in. Step up. Get the other one. Hold on. Get the other one in. And then you start your movements. Up, stop. Okay, I'm gonna go heavier. I'm gonna put another plate on each side. Haven't done this heavy in a while. I don't know, maybe I'll go to three plates, maybe. Okay, so get my foot in. So I will say a fun fact for you, not really fun, but whatever. Um, anytime you're face down on a, a bench, on this, on a stability ball, if you feel like you have to pee or you're gonna lose your lunch or you can't breathe, it's cause you're not breathing through your diaphragm. So you want to be able to get punched in the stomach and nothing changes. So nothing is gonna get in there. You're not gonna feel any pressure on the bladder or anything like that if you're breathing abdominal bracing. So even though I'm doing another movement, I've been doing this for so long. I've been certified for 23 years and that was one of the first things that I learned through NASM. So that's the reason why I've always practiced it. Prone iso abs, plank, try it, hold it, and then it translates when you're doing your workout. You're in the plank when you're doing an RDL or a squat or a reverse hyperextension. Okay, let's get some more plates.
Okay, I could definitely go heavier, but I'm not because I haven't done this in so long. So don't blow your wad. Um, ease your way into it. So, okay. So first off, this all worked out. I did have plans to work out with somebody today, but I'm really glad that I got to teach you guys some things, uh, do the reverse hyperextension, which I wasn't planning on doing that today. So I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you got some tips. Um, I hope you use some of these things. And then please don't forget that I am a coach. Yes, I know what I look like. I do not coach people for the stage, but I can help anybody with any goal. I can get you in the greatest shape. I can help you lose weight, get off medication, feel better. I was literally in the middle of my workout answering a text message from a client that wore a dress she hasn't been able to wear in six years. So I could do anything. Go to the description. You can see my website, read my testimonials, uh, read the about me page so you can get to know, love and trust me because I know you will. Um, but more importantly, not really more importantly, but like, subscribe, share to the channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you're ever in Vegas, please come to Fit Club and I'll see you later.